How's it going, everybody? Great. Tim, when, when you got in here in the spring, Matt was very intentional about exposing you a lot, whether it was information, one versus one competition, looks you got from the defense. As you go into the regular season, what do you think the net gains were of getting so much thrown at you early on in your time here? Yeah, it was great. It was it was getting that much thrown at me at that time. Also going, you know, learning this this offense and obviously still learning, but. Uh, basically having zero knowledge to the knowledge I have now of the offense um, has been tremendous because they've been challenging me from that stage um, and, 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 and to now. They haven't been trying to, you know, add to the challenge throughout the time. They, you know, first day they were just, they were out there trying to get after us, get after me um, and, and, and uh, bringing that challenge to me. Um, and so uh, it's, been, it's been awesome, the amount of ball that I've been able to see, the amount of ball that I've been able to learn uh, from the coaches and also from, being out there with the guys, um, listening to people like Keenan, and also going versus the defense, um, so it's been great. Um, it's been it's been it's been honestly really fun, uh, really exciting times, and uh, we're getting ready to go. Jim, do you think that has, has pushed you through struggles that, that you don't have to wait for the regular season to, to experience for the first time? Like you yeah, suffering. yeah. I think that I think that the way we practice, um, I don't think there's many teams uh, that practice the way we do. Um, and, I, and so I think uh, being able to go versus defense like this um, and, and, and how tough they are um, on QBs and, and things like that, you know, I, um, you know, going through this and, and all of that, I think it's, I think it's going to help me for, you know, obviously there's going to be times when I do struggle, but, you know, when, when those times come, you know, you know how to um, kind of get back on track, you know how to, you know, react and, and things like that in those moments. And I think uh, going versus defense, you know, every single day has helped. As an extension of that, Flew said that you guys have worked on being able to prepare for adversity ahead of time. Are there yep. mental exercises that he's put you through or any sort of tests that are not on the field that have helped you kind of prepare for what you may see if something does go wrong in a moment on Sunday? Yeah, I would say the constant communication um, is, is key. Um, a lot of times when things go wrong, there's a, there's a slip of, of communication. There's a slip of um, information that we have. So I think, I think first and foremost, I think it's the constant communication and information that, that, that we're gathering um, each, each day in, uh, day in, day out. Um, and then I think, um, you know, for the adversity part of it, you know, when it does happen, I think um, it goes back to, again, communication, you know, um, understanding that, you know, the situation I'm in, you know, bad things are going to happen um, every once in a while. You're going to throw a pick, you're going to fumble, um, whether it's me, whether it's the team, whether it's, you know, we're going to jump off sides, we're going to do a bunch of things. So when those when those moments of adversity strike, it's more about encouraging. It's more about um, understanding um, that we can get out of the situation and not um, not bringing more negativity to the to the situation um, that, that 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 comes up. Um, and so uh, I think the communication um, and information part, and then also just understanding um, there's going to be a lot more times. Obviously, you you can't be doing it every single drive or every single play, but there's going to be a lot more times throughout the games or. Uh, practices where um, there's going to be a lot more good than bad. You just can't let the bad out, outweigh the, uh, the good. You talked about you've been, working on, you've been working towards this goal, the first NFL regular season game yep. for a very long time. Yep. Are you going to take a moment to step back maybe during pregame just to take it all in, or is it just like business as usual? Well, when, I, when, when feet touch the grass, it's going to be business as usual. Um, um, but I probably will take a – I normally like to, when I run out the stadium, kind of do a little spin in the tunnel uh, when I'm coming out the tunnel, just kind of – See the stadium, take it all in, and 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 feel the, you know, the energy, the vibe, and 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 uh, get going from there. Once I do my spin, get down to the sideline, it's it's go time. You talked about you talked about envisioning every step of this process from since you were a kid. You talked about the Heisman and being number one pick, and all those things have come to fruition for you. I imagine you've also envisioned what your first regular season NFL game would be like. And maybe it was three fifty and four touchdowns. <laughs> Are you comfortable if the coaches decide that the best game plan for this first is to game run the ball? Is to run the ball and win the game? That's it. Yeah, I mean, just it, it ain't three fifty in the fourth. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we, you know, we come out and decide that um, the offensive line is dominating, wide receivers are dominating blocks, we're extending runs and things like that. Um, coach always talks about backside wins championships, frontside wins games, and things like that. So um, if we got guys out there, you know, giving that type of energy and you know, we're handing the ball up and we're getting a, I don't know, a, 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 a five a pop. I mean, it's hard to beat, you know, hard to beat that. And so, um, one, you control the game, you control the clock, all these different things, um, keeping their, their offense off the field and a bunch of different things. So, um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, if that's the case, that's the case. Um, as long as we get a win, 
Um, Cause last time I remember, um, you know, the wins are the most important thing. And so as long as we get that win at the end of the day, um, hundred yards, 400, you know, it, it's, it all becomes the same. Go in the locker room, you celebrate, you cheer, um, got your 24 hour period to, to, to enjoy the win. And then uh, from there you move on and, Get ready for the next team. Yeah, what's been, what's been the big, one of the big adjustments? One of the big adjustments for rookie quarterbacks is always the speed and how quickly windows yep. close. And we saw in Hard Knocks, I think one of the episodes Matt was telling you on the practice field, that window doesn't stay open. Yep, can't throw it that late. College. Yep. So what has that adjustment been like for you? When do you feel like you've got the hang of how quickly you have to recognize and jump on opportunities? Yeah, I think I think partly. Um, I think the biggest thing and, and the biggest difference from college is that there's guys that's been in the league for 12 years, um, and so they've seen a bunch of different things. And then there's a guy that comes in the league and he's he's been there for four months, like myself, three months. And so, um, you know, it's it's I think it's more of the information that we have, um, the younger guys, and then obviously the older guys. They have so they've seen so much more. They have a lot more information. They've seen a bunch of offenses and formations and different routes and how people have ran the routes and things like that. So. Um, I think the biggest adjustment is, is is understanding that those guys have a lot more knowledge, a lot more information, a lot more time, and you know things like that spent to spent to this game of of the NFL. And so um, I think that's the biggest adjustment that everybody has to understand, or at least I've I've kind of come to that is that you know the rookies we don't have as much knowledge and things like that. So um, you have to find ways to to be a lot more in time. You have to you know. Um, know your offense in and out, um, and then from there you can grow and and and, and things like that. Um, and then, as they always say, um, it, things will start slowing down at at whatever point that may be. Um, you know, when you know all your stuff, um, you know you catch up to the speed of your guys and all your stuff. Um, know when routes are going to break, um, and and not holding and and and, and sitting on routes um, as a QB um, is really important. Uh, if it's not there, if it's not what you thought it was going to be, you know, move on to the next route or, or move on to the check down. Caleb, what does it mean to you to be named the captain of this group, the talented roster you have? That's my first question. And the second part is um, we keep hearing that coaches want you to lean on those guys around yep. you. Um, what have you learned about the talent around you? Yeah, I've, I've said this since you know I've come here. we got a top five defense. We just drafted a punter um, in the fourth round, I believe. Um, you know, we got we got Cairo, uh, Cairo's uh, Mr. Santos. Um, we have... Uh, this, like I said, this amazing defense. We got special, special guys, wide receiver. We got a special running back. Our offensive line, um, I believe, in our run game has been like top five in the past two or three years. Um, and so, um, it's 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 what I said um, when I was first drafted, or around that time of, you know, I'm going to do whatever I need to do uh, for my team to win. Um, and you know, that's like I spoke about earlier, handing the ball off, leaning on my guys. Um, if that's dropping back, throwing the ball 30 times, that's doing that. Um, it's 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 leaning on my talent. Uh, I'm not trying to do anything special. And then, you know, when those moments happen, when those moments come up, um, you know, third downs, um, end of games, and things like that. Obviously, you know, there's some routine plays, but you know, a lot of times those moments are times where you know it's time to time to be special. Um, and so, um, you know, un understanding the the leaning on your guys, and also understanding the right situation to go and you know do special things on the field. Um, there's a there's a certain balance that you have to find and. You know, we've been we've been working our tail off. I've been working my tail off to try and find it, um, and so it's been it's been great. It's been fun. Um, and then your second question about the the yeah being a captain, uh, I'm I'm extremely grateful. Um, I don't I can't really think of how many rookies are are captains with, especially with a a team so talented like this. Um, you know, with a lot of I guess you can say vet guys. We're a pretty young team, but we have obviously a, a good amount of vets um, in this, in this, in the, on this team. And so, uh, to be named a captain by by my peers and colleagues and my teammates and uh, my friends and brothers, um, extremely grateful, extremely happy, um, and uh, something I told them as soon as you know I got to be able to break it down or talk to them and things like that. So, um, you know, ready to go, fired up, uh, extremely grateful, um, and and you know we're excited. Caleb, a lot, of, a lot of your success as a rookie is going to be based on your ability to learn well and learn quickly. Yep. Uh, how much can you is, can you is there an example like maybe in your first game in college for high school anywhere at USC just where you've had to learn quickly and learn well? Yeah. Um, I would say one of the times that I had to learn quickly and learn well, um, other than this time, um, is uh, my freshman year. Um, both my freshman years, whether it's high school or college. 
Um, I came in a situation where it was kind of the same, uh, where I wasn't the starter immediately as soon as I came in. Um, I had to learn a whole offense um, uh, to be able to put myself in a position to be able to start, um, whether it was first game or, you know, like in college, whether it was the sixth or seventh grade game. Um, and so um, I think those times um, have helped me. I also think that I have the ability to learn fast. Um, I think that's my phone, not his. Um, it's my alarm to eat. Um, but, um, you know, the, the ability, ability to learn fast, I think uh, that has grown over time. Um, obviously, seeing a bunch of different, um, been a bunch of different games, seeing a bunch of different films and things like that, I think that's helped um, um, being in these, these offenses uh, that I've been in. Uh, in high school, I was a little bit more under center. I had a few more play actions from under center, things like that. Uh, in college, I was a little bit more spread, uh, throwing the ball around a lot more, uh, seeing a bunch of different concepts of, of, of space and all these different things. So I've gotten a bunch of different, um, you know, different types of, of, of playing uh, throughout my years, and it, I think it's helped me tremendously to be able to learn this offense. Hey, how, are you, how are you painting yourself a picture of the Titans defense for this week with a first-time coordinator in his first game and not a lot to, to study <laughs> on, on film? Yeah, that's the that's the interesting part is that um, there's there's not – film to study uh, from whether it's, you know, a couple years ago or anything like that. He was the secondary's coach um, um, not too long ago at the Ravens and things like that. So, um, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're something that we say we're not hunting ghosts. Um, and so we're not hunting, you know, ghosts of, 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 you know, things that, you know, they may run, may not run. Uh, you know, we're, we're going off of, you know, kind of what we've seen, um, some, of the, some of the base things that we do know. Um, and other than that, I mean, they have players. Um, they got guys on that on the other side. So they, I mean, they've got Landry in '98, and they got um, Snead, obviously, and they got Diggs from from Seattle, and all these other guys. Uh, Murray, um, horns down. Um, but uh, no, it's it's they got they got some guys over there that I think fit their their scheme well. They just got the guy uh, Ernest uh, from um, from uh, Rams and things like that. So um, I think that um, you know he's done a great job so far building this team, and then. Um, you know, on, on, on noon uh, of, of Sunday, we'll be able to see kind of what they're actually doing. And then, you know, we'll make our adjustments um, in the game and then go from there. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Good Bears. Aiden, how you feeling? Are you feeling good? Good, good to go with uh, injury-wise, 100%? Day by day. Day by day. Keenan, is there a good way to uh, explain or express your confidence in Caleb as a first-time starter? <clears throat> with the high expectations of really being successful? Um, yeah, I mean, the expectation is, you know, the, the um, you know, what, what it always is, you know, uh, winning at the end of the day. And, um, you know, no matter who, who the quarterback is, you want to win. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't rather be with a, another guy right now than Caleb. Um, you know, I think he showed um, great, um, I don't know, uh, what's it called? He's gotten better <laughs> ever since we've started. And, um, you know, I think the confidence is through the roof. You know, what have you seen specifically with his work ethic behind the scenes over the months that you've been here? What kind of worker has he been? Yeah, I think he's been great. Um, like I said, he's gotten better, you know, ever since OTAs when we first started. And, um, you know, just seeing him uh, just kind of get the terminology, the, uh, the huddle calls, um, how to change the plays and everything. Uh, I think he's did a great job. You know, you, you've been around young quarterbacks like Justin, obviously. Um, how, did, how is it different? Uh, both really high picks, obviously, he's your first overall pick. Yeah. Like, what? How, how is Caleb special? Um, his confidence. Um, you know, he's been, he's always been the guy. Um, you know, and uh, when we first had Herbert, he wasn't really the starter going into week one. So um, that's that's the difference. And, um, you know, he's all, like I said, he's always been the guy. So he's always had the expectation of, um, of playing at, the, at that level that we play at. So, um, you know, I think he's ready for it. I think he's up for the task. And uh, like I said, his confidence is good. Coach, you know, that, that he's gotten here, like to lean on the talent around him. How have you noticed from, very beginning to where you're at now, him being able to delegate to you guys, maybe not trying to take on too much on his own, which may might have been something he was accustomed to at other points. Yeah, um, well, we were just talking last night, he wants to get the ball out of his hands, you know, um, just get it, get it into our hands, the playmakers, uh, the talent that Coach is talking about, and, um, you know, just let, let everything happen for itself instead of trying to wait, wait on plays that aren't really there and, you know, try to create your own plays. That's how you fall into mistakes and fall behind the downs and um, stuff like that. So just try to get us uh, the ball early and um, let us work. When he goes into scramble mode and his first instinct is, I'm still looking to pass. As a receiver, how do you have to, I mean, trying to get open and stay open, how does that change what you have to do in that moment? If he, 
Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, you just stay alive. You know, at any time he can roll out and uh, make a pass. And, you know, that's kind of when he's at, at his best, uh, when he's um, off schedule, throwing those uh, those crazy passes off one leg, you know, turning around and stuff. So um, you just got to stay alive and, um, you know, just expect it. When you're approaching week one and you know you have a talented roster and we always hear how important a fast start is, what does that look like from a player responsibility thing to not come out there and be, you know, because there is only so much tape you can look at and so much there's a lot of unknowns. How do you tangibly start fast? Uh, it's about doing your job. Um, everybody just do their job, um, work with each other, communicate, um, everybody be on the same page and um, just try not to shoot yourself in the foot. Denard Wilson has said consistently that he wants his corners to press up. Is that a good idea against the wide receivers that you guys have? That's the Titans, whoever you're talking about. Uh, uh, um, yeah, <laughs> sure. You, you've been the clear number one receiver for so long in terms of targets being the number one option in the offense. How do you feel about coming into a situation where it's probably going to be more balanced? Mm -hmm. that, that might not be what's asked of you. I kind of love it. Um, yeah, I mean, just holding the uh, expectation of, you know, kind of carrying the offense, so to speak. You know, we, I've, I've always had guys around me who could make plays as well, too. But, um, you know, injuries happen, things happen. And then you're all, all of a sudden the guy that's getting, you know, the majority of the touches. But, you know, like you said, it's going to be balanced. And, um, you know, I, I think it's going to be good. Even in a contract year, you're cool with that, that things are going to be spread out? Yeah, I mean, I'm not looking to make $35 million. <laughs> You're coming off a peak year, but at your age, you're you're at an age where, frankly, a lot of Hall of Fame receivers have, have started to drop off. What have, what have you done to kind of make sure that you're as quick as you ever were, as good as you ever were? Have you been cognizant of that, of maintaining that, where where you are in your in your career? Yeah, I think just keeping the main thing, the main thing, um, not changing anything, um, sticking to the script, trusting the process, and um, you know, just trying to, I don't know, um, remain me, I guess. But you feel as good physically as you have in yeah. let's say recent years, if not, you know, obviously, I, I imagine that as a rookie or whatever. But. Absolutely. Yeah, still feel good. What have you you been a lot of, there's been a lot of hype around the team since you arrived and then Caleb. Is there a level of curiosity you have as to what it will all look like in the regular season? I mean, what Yeah, I think you get that kind of every season. Um, you're, you're always excited to go out and um, get that first game under your belt and just see, you know, what kind of team we are. And um, same thing. What have you liked about that? What, what is it? you about the offense that changed while Jimmy's built? Um, just seeing how he progressed it uh, with Gino. You know, you've seen Gino come alive. I played with Gino as well. And you just seen him come alive with, with Shane and, um, you know, just be able to make plays. And, um, you know, he just looked, you know, way comfortable um, versus being with us. So, um, you know, I'm excited to see it. You know, I'm sure you've had a lot of moments since you got here where it's like you're in a new jersey, new building for the first time in your career. Is there going to be a moment on Sunday, too, for your first regular season game and, a, and another? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, when I when, the, when you do think about game day, been playing with uh, that other team for so long, it's like I'm not going to be in that stadium or I'm not going to be in those colors. So it's a little bit different, but, you know, it's still football. When you guys were in Kansas City, and I think Caleb was talking with McCole Hardman, and he said, like, I don't get nervous before games. And you said, yeah, you're going to be spooked before the <laughs> yeah. one. Like, it just seems like he has this sort of confidence that's not normal of a rookie. How do you – build that confidence up if he said he's not going to get nervous, okay, but also help him along the way if he does come into, you know, a couple bumps in the road in his first real game. Yeah, well, the good thing about it is nothing changes. You know, football still football, still 11 on 11, still going to be tackling, still going to be running around having fun. So um, that's that's the good thing about it. The bad thing is, you know, the only thing that really can happen is it doesn't go your way. And uh, how do you respond? You know, just keep things going, um, stay under control, and, um, you know, like you said, trust the guys around you. Thank you. Thank you.